The 1980-1981 Teton women's basketball team had it all. Speed, shooting, size. This combination led the team to a fantastic season that saw them win the state, region, and advance to the national tournament. Working together and blending different personalities from different areas, the 80-81 team made an incredible run that will not soon be forgotten. An overall record of 23-9 led this Teton team to be one of the most successful of all time. Coach Penny Slagle, head coach of the 80-81 team, shares with us what made this team so unique. The 1980-81 women's basketball team for UND Williston just had a great deal of success. Uh, that, I was in my third year of coaching and that was my third year back to the national tournament. On this team I had 10 sophomores returning and those 10 sophomores that returned had played the previous year in the national tournament and had placed seventh. Uh, so I had those 10 young ladies now returning as sophomores and they knew what it takes to get to the national tournament to get back there and that's exactly what they wanted to do. As freshmen, they were also named the North Dakota Female Team of the Year. And as sophomores, uh, my 8081 team was also North Dakota Female Team of the Year. Our record was 23 and 9, played a pretty good schedule. And one memory that I remember very well is we played the University of North Dakota varsity women. And we ended up winning that game. We won 99 to 86. And in that game, I had five of my ball players uh, reach double figures. And so that was really an exciting time for our girls. And this team, when I think about this team as well, they were probably the most improved individually and as a team of any team that I'd ever coached. With every game that they played, they just got stronger, uh, shot the ball better. It seemed like we got quicker. We weren't the biggest team or the quickest team, but they just worked so hard and made up for those disadvantages that we had. We advanced to the national tournament, traveled to Brainerd, Minnesota in a van 15 passenger van 530 miles away we won the regional 13 tournament we then had to travel to Rock Springs Wyoming 800 miles away we were home for two days got in the van and took off for Rock Springs we I did not expect that we would win that game so I was very surprised we just took it to them and defeated them quite handily from Rock Springs we headed to the national tournament in Kansas City there we played Illinois Central Illinois Central was ranked fifth in the nation we were ranked 17th in the nation that year on my 8081 team and had some national tournament experience we ended up uh, losing by 18 points to Illinois Central they were a great team and uh, the next day we played Henderson County out of Texas, a very strong, uh, quick team, very physical, and we ended up losing to that team by two points on a last second shot. So that was a heartbreaker for these young ladies, but they got back to the national tournament and that was their goal and they just had a very, very successful season and I was just very proud of the ups and downs. Our record, like I said, was 23 and 9, so we lost some games in that year. They accomplished what they wanted to accomplish and I couldn't be proud of them. With the 10 sophomores that we had, um, we had some great leadership um, in those athletes. And I, I remember in practices, we were some of our best competition. We played some teams that our practices were, were better competition than what we ended up playing. Uh, we had a lot of depth on that team. I ran a lot of people in and out. We, we were just a powerhouse inside. We played so hard and so aggressively and just took a two teams. Uh, we had some very, very good shooters. We had some strength on the inside. We had some good outside shooters that took a lot of pressure off of the inside game. And also we had some individuals that were very quick. So we loved to press. We were a very pressing style of play and run and gun. And we had the people to do that with and were very successful at it. Personally, when you, when you have a team like this that works that hard and you see that much improvement, their dedication and desire to, to play the game and to become better athletes, that just meant the world to me. And they basically did whatever I said, and our practices were hard. And not once did I hear them complain. They always knew that the end result, that's what they saw as their goal was to head to the national tournament. They never complained. They were good students. They were great individual young ladies, represented themselves very well on and off the court. And I, I just couldn't be proud 
order of them, and I, I would like to welcome my 1980-81 uh, Lady Teton women's basketball team into the Teton Hall of Fame. Congratulations, and it's well-deserved.